Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Jack Graham here, showing you today the Avella floor plan. Built by Toll Brothers in the northwest side of the Las Vegas Valley in a community called Sky Canyon, which is a master plan community um, with uh, an association fee of uh, for the master plan $84 and this community specifically $75 for a total monthly fee of $129 per month. This uh, this community will have also a community pool right behind this sales office that they have right now, and we're looking at. Uh, a SID estimate of $8,058 uh, for this uh, property, if you were to purchase it. Now, we're looking at the Avella floor plan. Avella floor plan has on this one a beautiful elevation, which is the modern farmhouse elevation. And uh, this specific model starts at $559,995. However, they do, uh, the included option is the Spanish Contemporary, which will be something with uh, looking like the last model that we'll see in this community. But this one is the Modern Craftsman, sorry, Modern Farmhouse, which has, as you can see, the Borton Batten in the front of the house. It has um, the flat roof tiles. And uh, we have on this model, 2,263 square feet, which is uh, the smallest home that they have in this community or anywhere here in uh, Sky Canyon. We have uh, three to four bedrooms, optional fourth bedroom, uh, two full bathrooms and a half. So the half bathroom will be downstairs. With, uh, beautiful, tall floor you here in this Avella floor plan. Love what they did here with all the finishes on the walls. These are not upgrades that you can do with uh, Builder, just FII. And I'm also gonna go through pretty much all the upgrades that they offer in this, in this you know, floor plan and give you pretty much a breakdown as far as the structural and also an estimate when it comes to the design center options that you can choose. Um, Again, these are estimates from me going to the design center with my clients and kind of seeing a little bit of their prices. I'm not going to give you an exact price because they change weekly anyway. But look at this floor plan. Wow. Love it. Look how open it feels. For 2,200 square feet, 2,263, this is a really nice use of space. Look at that. Great open floor plan. We do have quite some upgrades in here. I'm gonna break them down for you, but let's start from over here. Now, as I mentioned, the Spanish Contemporary model starts at 550. The Modern Craftsman is $5,000 more. The Modern Farmhouse, which is this one, is $10,000 more than the included uh, floor plan. Uh, we do have some upgrades here, like the stair rails. This is gonna run you approximately about 5,000 for, five to 6,000 for this one with the vertical banisters. Uh, you can also go for uh, the horizontal bars and you can also get the glass finish here on the stair rails, which is going to be for the horizontal bars, probably around 10 to 11,000 for the, the glass finish is going to run you around $15,000. Now, this is all extra. All these finishes right here, they put these boards here throughout pretty much the first floor of the house. Really great job they did, but th these are not options that you can do with the builder. If you were so to do something like that, it's it's gonna cost you a little bit after, and probably to do the whole house, I would say about $10,000. This is just an estimate from, from my prior experience with it. Now, these are the included options, as you can see. So if you wanna stop the video, and you can see all the included options and what's shown here in this, uh, model as well now let's go over this kitchen a little bit and see a little bit what we have included what's not included so on the first floor first of all we have 10 foot ceilings that's an included option uh, over here in the kitchen you will get 42 inch cabinets which is the height that we have here however it's a different style of cabinet and uh, we have the regular birch cabinet included 
sort of to this one, but this is the different one with the gray finish on it. And uh, cabinets, you know, the included cabinets obviously are free, but this cabinet is probably on the lower end, entry level cabinet, which is gonna run you around 10,000. If you wanna get something a little bit higher, more expensive, it's going to run you all the way up to $22,000. And that would include all the soft clothes, all the ducktail cabinets, uh, drawers. For example, this one, as you can see, it has the stapled in drawers rather than having the ductile which would be like you know the wood uh you know glued together right there which is supposedly a better uh quality cabinet now that will come also with the soft close and all those things for about twenty two thousand to upgrade it throughout the house now it depends also on which floor plan you're getting how many bathrooms you have because you're upgrading the bathrooms throughout the house okay when you go here into the kitchen we have a beautiful undermounted apron style sink uh, with the stainless steel finish uh, this one is going to run you about probably 1500 to get this one uh, that sink that faucet right there is going to be probably about 1200 and then we have all these cabinets as i mentioned this cabinet is going to be about ten thousand dollars of an upgrade to have this style throughout the house the included options here would be with the weir pull appliance package uh, we have uh, the cooktop which is 36 inches and we have your canopy hood right on top still weir pull over on this side we'll have a built-in microwave this is not going to be a convection microwave and this oven is also not going to be convection However, you can upgrade to other styles. Uh, their luxury brand, I mean, the most expensive one is the Gen Air. They used to have Wolf, but they're not offering anymore because of their uh, time frame that Wolf gave them to pretty much, it will take up to two years for the appliances to arrive. Whereas Gen Air, they're, you know, more within that time frame, you know, to build a house. Right now, the, the garage right here, access is gonna be locked, so I can't go in there. But we do have a two car garage with a very good size uh, depth on the garage. We have your, uh, Front your uh, key drop off right here. As far as your um, refrigerator, this is not the included option, okay? The counter right here, the kitchen island actually has the extended island. And that extended island, as a matter of fact, uh, will cost you $4,850, which is what you see right now. In here, they also added the cabinets underneath right here, and they wrapped it all around, so that's also an extra upgrade. I would say for these cabinets with that option right here, it's gonna run you another 5,000 at least uh, because of the wrap around uh, the island. Otherwise, it will come with the pony wall right here, the drywall finish, and then you have a beautiful size island because of the upgrade of 4,850. All right, as we go into your living room, we have a very spacious living room. This is probably about 18 feet wide on this wall. Very nice. Now, that sliding door, the 12 foot sliding door that we see um, leading you outside is a, an upgrade, a structural upgrade. And uh, that sliding door costs $8,130 to add. Otherwise, you would get only half of this. So it would be the six foot sliding door by eight tall. And that's what you would get up to here. Okay. As we walk outside, we'll have your cover patio, which is included in the base price. And that's a very nice option to have included. As usually, this is an upgrade and it's gonna run you around 15 to 20,000 to do it with the builder. However, this is an included option in this community. We do have uh, more upgrades. Now, the included, you will get also the pavers underneath your, um, your covered patio. However, you don't get all of that. So the pool, the built-in barbecue with the purple on top, those are all options that you can choose at the, uh, well, you can choose after because they don't offer it as an option with the builder. Also, this pool is gonna run you probably 50,000 or so. And everything else for the landscaping, that's another 10, per, five, five to 10 for that barbecue place. And then all the pavers around the backyard. We do have some really good sized lots um, in this community, some corner lots. We have uh, over, over here, 
you won't be able to get any strip views unfortunately but we are surrounded over to the left by mountains on the north side and then on the other side i can't show you now but on the other side we have your uh, mount charleston mountains which are really nice let's head inside again let's go and check out uh, the upstairs I hope this video helps. If you guys are interested in buying this home or any other home out there on the market, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Jack Graham and I'm a realtor here in Las Vegas that helps out clients move out here and guides them through the process of buying a new home. So if you're one of those people that needs help purchasing a home, feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description. We have right here your, um, your included uh, you know, sink, which will be the regular uh, you know sink that you see right here forgot the name of it and then you have all the light fixtures here uh, these are all upgrades as far as the included uh, electrical features right here we have in a great room a pre-wire for the ceiling fan and that's all it will get these resist lights right here are an upgrade and also those uh dining room lights i think it comes with only one but you can upgrade and put another two over there the kitchen ones are included just like you see it now the flooring also is an upgrade this one for the downstairs it's probably going to run you around fifteen thousand for this uh, luxury vinyl plank throughout the first floor as far as your stairs and to do it upstairs just like this is going to run you another fifteen thousand most likely uh, that does not include the uh, bedrooms, which are carpet. Okay, but they did add it here onto the loft and throughout the hallways upstairs. That's just because uh, you know to do the flooring on the car, uh, on the on the stairs, it's very expensive because it's very tedious work. So they add probably like a five thousand dollars cost just for that. Now, as far as your loft, great size loft. As I mentioned, they added this. Uh, this accent here on the walls in your foyer, which makes it, it gives it that luxury feel. Spacious loft. Not much to say about this one. They did add the recess lights on this one. If you want to turn this loft into a bedroom, you could do that for six thousand seven hundred ninety dollars. What it would do is it would add. You know, I will close this off with a wall, add a door right here, and add also a, whatchamacallit, a uh, closet, a walk-in closet, not walk-in closet, just sliding door closet to the house, to the, to the bedroom, sorry. Linen closet. As we walk in here, we'll have your owner suite over to the right. And then to the left, we have one and two bedrooms. So the fourth bedroom would be the loft bedroom that I said that you can add. Two and a half bathrooms. Your second bathroom is right here to the right. And then we have these two bedrooms, as I said. Over here, we have your laundry room. They did add some upgrades here. If you want the cabinets and the sink with the countertop here, it would be it will come with the Pietrofina quartz on this one and right here we have your included sink which is over mount with the included faucet this option right here costs two thousand seven hundred dollars to add the sink otherwise it won't come with any sink right here and then you'll get the board right here so uh, just to put on your soaps and everything if you want to add these cabinets you can also for about twenty five hundred dollars and then right here we have your washer and dryer, which are not included. And I'm not sure if they're offering right, right now at the, the at design center, but that will cost you probably around 4,000 with them. Not, definitely not uh, a great price. As you see the first bedroom up here, we have approximately 11 feet by 10, 10 by 11, yeah. Feel spacious here uh, with this queen size bed. And obviously, if you have a dancer as a kid, you could do this after. As we walk into the other bedroom, it's approximately the same size. It's probably a little bit bigger because this would be about 12 feet long, but it's still about 10 feet wide on that wall. 
they added a shiplap right here as an accent wall then we have the eight foot doors throughout the house those are all included options in the base press you will get a regular two panel door so it'll be uh, one smaller panel right here and one bigger panel okay you can upgrade to this for about I'll say about a thousand dollars for these so for these doors your upgrades are gonna be mainly in the kitchen and all the bathrooms and flooring right when you go to the design center all the bedrooms yes you can upgrade a few things like electrical and all usually people spend about two to five thousand dollars on uh, on electrical uh, as we go in here we have uh, upgraded quartz this one is a level three quartz uh, to add this one throughout the whole house you're probably gonna spend about ten thousand dollars for a bathroom like this probably about a thousand five hundred or so uh, that would be my best guess uh, probably eight thousand throughout the whole house i would say it just depends on how many bathrooms you have how big the counters are and also how big, how big your kitchen island is as we go uh, and walk in here, we do have an upgraded option, which is, first of all, the walk-in shower. The walk-in shower itself, uh, to get that option, will be, uh, with, it will be, uh, where was it? Um, $3,820, there we go. Now, if you want this tile, it will come with the tile, okay? So you tile it up. And then if you want this specific tile, it's probably going to be a higher upgrade. Uh, it's going to run you around 2000 to 2500 per bathroom. So a total of about $5,000 of the shower right here that we see. Okay. Uh, they did upgrade also to the brush nickel finish here on your, uh, on your fixtures. These are going to run you from about 2500 to do it for the whole house, just like this one right here. If you, if you want to get the included option, that's gonna be the Chrome option in here. Let's walk into the last bedroom, your owner suite. As you walk in, you have over to the right, very spacious closet. Attic access here in this, in this uh, closet. And this one has the ship lap finish on the ceiling. Again, not an option that you can choose with the builder. Then you have an opening right there. If you want to add a door, to add a door into the house, it's going to cost you $1,250 with the builder. Otherwise, everything else is included, all the doors. Let's say you have a laundry room behind the bathroom. Sometimes they give you an option to add another door, um, you know, to the laundry room. So keep that in mind. It will cost you about that price. And then we have uh, over here your two sinks. And they all come with the undermount other than the laundry room. In the laundry room, you can get the undermount for an extra $200. And then right here we have your shower. Again, this is uh, pretty much the same thing. If you, it comes with a fiberglass pan here in the shower. If you want to add a tile in place of this pan, of the shower, uh, of the fiberglass pan, uh, you're looking at something like this. That would be the included option for about a thousand dollars. And then, you know, if you want to upgrade the showers right here, as I mentioned, another 2000 or so per bathroom. Really good size here. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. If, uh, if you found this video helpful, feel free to like the video, subscribe, and also, you know, reach out to me. Don't go to the sales office first. Reach out to an agent first that can represent you throughout the transaction and, um, you know, and guide you through all of it. Maybe there's another community out there that you like better or, you know, you don't know about it. Feel free to reach out to me. I can inform you about it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.